What's up everybody, it's Matt from HowToMotorcycleRepair.com In today's video, I got a new bike. Let's see what it is. It's a 91 PW50. I bought this off a coworker for 200 bucks. It was a super simple, convenient transaction because I left work, went to the bank, then went to his house, threw this thing in my trunk, and I was home, and that all took about 10 minutes. Now, as many of you know, I have four kids. Uh, uh, Madeline, who's 11, Ben's eight, Jack is six, and then the newborn, Penelope, is eight months. Obviously, she is too young to ride this, but uh, basically, I bought it so they can ride it a little bit, and hopefully my wife uh, won't freak out. All right, so in this video, I just wanna talk about what I've already done to the bike to get it operational, uh, what my plans are for it, and also get my kids out here to fire it up and then take it for a test spin. Now, before we get into all that, I wanna thank my fifth patron out there. His name is Hayden from Kansas City and he is pledging a dollar per video I create. Hayden rides a 98 KX250, and he also has an 83 Yamaha XJ550 with a FJ600 motor and a Gixxer 750 front end. So Hayden, thanks so much for the pledge. It really means a lot to me, and also to my other uh, four patrons. So I got five total. You guys are pledging 30, 31 bucks per video, and that helps me out big time, more than you guys can imagine. So I really wanna thank you for that. All right, so let's do a quick walk around on this bike, and I'll point out a few things, and then uh, we'll get into the riding video. All right, guys, so here's a closer look at this PW. Um, first thing I did when I got this is it had these bar risers, which raised the handlebars up a good four inches or so. Uh, because it's adult ridden so I had to get rid of that drop the bars down for my kids you know back to stock level all right so after messing with the handlebars um, I searched for the service manual it's always a good idea to get the service manual for a new bike that or a new bike for a bike that is new to you and especially with two strokes um, two strokes you know if they're running lean or whatever you know it damage engine damage can result right so what I like to do is get the service manual and I usually tear into the carb right away now I had to tear into this carb because it didn't run at all it ran on starting fluid or you know premix when you shoot into the carb so I took the carburetor part cleaned it all up and verified that the jetting was what it was compared to stock and it was all stock except the main jet was two sizes larger and it came with a bunch of extra parts and one of the extra parts was the stock main jet threw that back in there and then it fired up no problem next thing is I did a compression check it has 110 psi and threw a new spark plug in it cleaned the air filter and flushed the gas and it fired right up now I do know it's running a little rich I got the air screw winged out about three turns. So that tells me either the float level is a little too high, the, the float needle didn't look the best, so I might have to replace that, or um, maybe it's just that rich from the factory. So I'll do a little digging into that and update you guys what I find here. Um, but yeah, winging it out the three turns to get it to idle properly uh, tells me that um, it's pretty pretty rich so I can probably drop the pilot two to three sizes and um, and it does feel very sluggish and kind of boggy uh, kind of rich um, and that may be okay for my kids because they're they're starting out and that sluggish uh, feel is probably better for them to learn on um, and as they get better I could probably lean this out a little bit it'll be a little more crisp and all that good stuff definitely gonna get rid of these decals number 42 I mean you know get rid of those guys right now decals are cheap so I'll probably um, buy a whole new sticker set for this thing oh and one more thing about carburetors uh, the junk man has a YouTube channel and he just released a cool animated video on how a carburetor works so I will link to that in the iCard right now go and check that video out 
subscribe to his channel. He's got a bunch of motorcycle repair and how-to videos. So definitely check out his channel and uh, subscribe to it. All right, so up here, you can see someone painted the forks orange, and that's got to go. I'm not a big fan of the orange, but uh, we can uh, take care of that. And I just noticed that this fork tube's kind of dinged up pretty good. So I'll have to look for some extra parts here. And here is the number plate. Someone shaved it. You know, this is part of the fender as well. So I'll have to order a new one of these. Again, number 42, but this time they did it with strips of electric tape. So that's pretty sweet. Also, one thing you'll notice is that they totally gutted the oil injection system. They just took the pump off or the tank off and they are running premix in this, which I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, it seems to run okay and a lot of people do it. Um, I can go either way with that. I'll probably just leave it as premix cuz I don't feel like throwing the tank on and all that unless uh, unless I can get the rest of the parts. Over here, got a bunch of sweet duct tape for the throttle cable. So we'll have to order up a new throttle cable. Um, the throttle is a little sticky. So I definitely want to fix that because I don't want my kids to crash or anything. So we'll have to order up a new throttle cable. I already gave it an oil change. Took a whopping 300 cc's of fluid. All right, back here, someone gutted the spark arrestor out of here. So this is just a hollow pipe. So basically, it is super annoying right now. I definitely want to order or find the insert to this, the spark arrestor. It's just too loud. I want my kids to ride it in the yard or whatever. And there is really no performance gain by doing this, especially for my kids when they're just starting out. All right, but it has the Pirelli Scorpion tires, which are pretty nice knobby tires for this PW. I know that they're definitely beefier than the stock ones, so that's pretty cool. It's got them both front and rear. All right, big box of parts. All right, so here's the oil injector tank. I got the, a pink seat. Uh, it looks like here are some gaskets for the top end, wrist pin, circlips, and all that. So someone obviously did a top end on this at some point uh, I don't know what this is CDI box I guess or something ignition coil air filter clamp for the air box and then here I got PW50 clutch springs so these are probably springs that are uh, stiffer and allows the engine to spool up to a higher RPM before it engages and you know it doesn't look like they were installed I think you have to pull the motor in order to get the uh, to get to the clutch so it looks like they might have just purchased this and not installed it um, I'm probably not gonna bother with that for a long time All right.
All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. You're going to see the big HTMR logo pop up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And also, you're going to see a link to my Patreon page. Please check that out. See if you can support what I do here on this channel. It would really help me out. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.